Hey guys, Amy here. This video will walk you through some of the add-ons that are included in the first version launch of iWire incorporating player add-ons officially into the game. So you've probably seen the blog and heard about the players, Christoph Crook, CrazyMan4865, Jouster, and of course Eldon Doff, who have been building amazing extensions to the iWire ecosystem. They're so amazing, in fact, that we decided we should officially support them and default install several of these add-ons, which you can see in the new official add-on section. So the first one is the new profile graph that for scouts and scythes will visualize up to 12 months of history of reaps and completes and you can also see your trends over time. Uh, don't worry this stat is only available for you personally in your profile so you won't see it if you click on someone else's this is for privacy uh, but it's a really cool feature to check your you know your your history relative to what you have done and also compare yourself to your own personal best. Uh, also in stats there are several Scout and Scythe relevant features. So for example, there were 161 cubes scythe today. It's 10:45 a.m. So pretty pretty early in the day for uh, U.S. time. Uh, there is a, a long time requested feature that you guys will probably be happy to see: the all time top 100. Uh, so now you can see best day, best week, best month, best year, and all time best for all of the different categories that are listed at the bottom here. It'll take a second to load, but you can see where you stand. Uh, I'm not in these because you guys are way better at iWire than me, but your own username will show up in green on here. All right, let's see what else. So tabbed chat will be also one of the most obvious things that you've noticed. So you've got all and you've got commands and Crazy Man has very kindly added a, a separate tab and several new commands that will be useful for you guys. Um, so he's exposed ad cell a little bit more. Size could be useful. Um, you can clear chat. Also, the, the cool features I think for scouts and sides are low weight. So you can list all the low weight cubes in a cell and also scythe complete info. So you can see the count of scythe completes that you've done, um, the amount you can do, and it'll list all the cube IDs where uh, specific scythe complete parameters are met. Uh, and while we're on Scythe Completes, there is also a Scythe Complete feature. If you right click on your profile, you will be able to pull up all your Scythe Completes in the past 30 days or across any parameter. Uh, in the screen cap that Nick has provided, you can see a number of different use cases for how this awesome feature is used within iWire. You can customize Crazy Man's DLC chat content. Uh, over over here so with you know showing timestamp uh, points messages etc other things you can do you can turn off the leaderboard after you're submitting cubes and you can also alter the UI of the scythe bar in inspect mode so if I toggle this guy these buttons instantly become larger and easier to click on uh, another thing that has been pretty popular that I personally really like a lot is the color picker. So we've got a couple of different color customization tools in here. Um, I'll show you the I'll show you the, uh, Crazy Man's cell color picker. So this is for your heat map, and you can adjust any of the default heat map colors. So uh, say I wanted to make this bright purple, make admin scythe complete green this is a marathon cell so it may not be it may not be representative of a normal cell but if you save this and refresh the page that will become true for your heat maps as you change cells so you can customize whatever heat map colors you want to your heart's content and really stylize your your eye wire however however you want uh, in addition to the color picker there is also a new custom highlight tool. So I'm going to switch to a different window because the admin scythe toolbar has a lot more options uh, and a little bit, a little bit cluttered. So if I go into, if I go into this account and I bring up my my toolbar here, you can see now there is also a V and a B option. So this is for adding a custom highlight and this is for removing a custom highlight. So if I go in and you can also customize any of the any of the highlight colors. So I'll just pick some pick some variances of green. There's a green. I'll pick a white. Pick a pick a pink. 
And now I can go in here and highlight this. And I can also pick a different color. Now I can highlight this branch with that second color. And I can go to my third color, which is actually kind of similar. So let's pick something that's totally different. Oh, remember to remember to switch your toggle to the highlight color that you want to use. And now a cool thing that you can do, you can right click, oh sorry, you can click on highlight and it'll give you a, a huge breakdown of cells that contain your custom highlighted cubes. So say you were working your way through checking a cell, completing the whole thing. Uh, this could be a really useful feature for keeping track of where you are. You can also switch between iWire and the Mystic Zebrafish zone, uh, which we hear is very helpful for the players. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. Um, the other options that you may want to use, auto refresh, show me me, um, down here. So show me me, you know, shows you everything that you've completed on a cell. Uh, and in the past, it only updates by disabling and then re-enabling show me me. Uh, but now you can auto update it, uh, to see your new completes automatically. Yeah, so then there's Scythe Complete. You can, of course, you know, remove all these top buttons if you want. And the Scouts Log is still in the menu. It will always be in the menu. Uh, and we've also added Jouster's feature to Mystic to enable better scrolling performance. I think that this is everything in Generation 1. Uh, we've got a Slack channel with the player developers who have been building these awesome features. And we hear that there are additional improvements and modifications in the works. Um, we look forward to seeing what people come up with and also thank you guys. Thanks to all of you scouts and sides and mystics and mentors and moderators who have really pulled a tremendous amount of weight in the IYR community. You know, none of this would be possible without you. Um, and of course, none of these features would be possible without the player developer. So I just want to extend a heartfelt thank you. Thank you so much for your participation and your passion in this project. And we're really excited to see things move forward and to continue supporting you guys as much as we can. So for science, and we will see you online.